So we are living, as it were, on many, many levels of rhythm. This is the nature of change. If you resist it, you have dukkha, you have frustration and suffering. But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it and you let it flow, then it's no problem, it becomes positively beautiful. Which is why in poetry, the theme of the evanescence of the world is beautiful. When Shelley says, the one remains, the many change and pass. Heaven's light forever shines, earth's shadows fly. Life, like a dome of many colored glass, stains the white radiance of eternity until death shatters it to fragments. Now what's beautiful in that? Is it heaven's light that shines forever? Or is it rather the dome of many colored glass that shatters? See, it's always the image of change that really makes the poem. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps on life's petty pace from day to day. Somehow, you know, poet has got the intuition. The fact that things are always running out, that things are always disappearing, has some hidden marvel in it. The Japanese have a word, yugen, Y-U-G-E-N, which has no English equivalent whatsoever. Yugen is in a way Digging change. It's described poetically. You have the feeling of Yugen when you see out in the distant water some ships hidden behind a far off island. You have the feeling of Yugen when you watch wild geese suddenly seen and then lost in the clouds. You have the feeling of Yugen when you look across Mount Tamalpais and you've never been to the other side and you see the, the sky beyond you don't go over there to look and see what's on the other side that wouldn't be you again you let the other side be the other side and it evokes something in your imagination but you don't attempt to define it, to pin it down So in the same way, the coming and going of things in the world is marvelous. They go. Where do they go? Don't answer, because that would spoil the mystery. They vanish into the mystery. But if you try to pursue them, you destroy you. very curious thing, but that idea of Yugen, which in Chinese characters means it were kind of a, the deep mystery of the valley. There's a poem in Chinese which says, the wind drops, but the petals keep falling. The bird calls, and the mountain that strange. There's, there's no wind anymore, and yet petals are dropping. And the bird in the canyon cries. That one sound in the mountains brings out the silence of wallop. Like I remember in the, when I was a, almost a child in the Pyrenees, in the southwest of France, we went way up, gorgeous silence. In the distance, we could hear the bells on the tower. Somehow, those tiny sounds 
brought out the silence. And so in the same way, slight permanence. And they give you this very strange sense. You get the mystery. You know in Eliot's poem, The Four Quartets, where he says the dark, 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 all the dark. Distinguished families, members of the book of the direction of the is life, because, just because it's always been. Supposing suddenly, by some kind of diabolical magic, I could say, Zip! and every one of you would stay the same age forever. You'd be like Madame Tussaud's waxworks.